Grab those house keys and get ready to step into a fresh new property, as we're about to look at 18 gameplay ideas for the 4 rent expansion pack. As always, these can be smaller side activities or larger ideas that can form the focus for your household. Let's get started. First up is a quick one, being to adopt a tiger. You'll likely visit the Salia Tiger Sanctuary while roaming around Tomarang, which is located within the Koh Sapa area. While it can be nice to visit during the day or break into at night for some fun text-based journeys, what's even more exciting is that if you choose to support the sanctuary by adopting a tiger for 100 simoleons, then your sim will join the cub club. And as thanks a few days later, an adorable plush called Tibbet the Tiger and a cute poster will be mailed to your sim. Cub club members can pat Tibbet for a small happy moodlet or even choose to think about the adopted tiger, which is a longer interaction that provides your sim with a rather strong plus three happy moodlet. All around though, supporting the sanctuary and having Tibbet in your home is pretty much guaranteed to make you feel happy. Let's make a splash with the next idea, which is to host an official pool party. Pool party events are added with for rent and they can bring to life an awesome social setting, particularly on a hot day. Spend the day lounging, swimming and socialising by the pool or having a steamy time in a hot tub. And know that as long as you complete the main event goal of chatting while swimming, then it's relatively easy to earn gold and be awarded a rather cute pool float. Additionally, earning gold at a pool party is an incredible way to level up your sim's charisma skill. Moving on now to creating a criminal sim who just loves to break and enter. With for rent, you'll be able to start breaking events at another sim's home, after which you can snoop around Around to uncover secrets in peace. Just be wary that you'll need to be done before the residents return home. After you've found a few secrets, you'll then be able to confront and then blackmail sims to make a small profit. Also, it's worth knowing that you can uncover secrets by snooping when visiting a sim's home outside of a break-in event too, and even by eavesdropping on other sims. To bring this playstyle to life, you'll also want to consider the Seeker of Secrets aspiration, which completing will see you find and be able to use the Tiger Inspector badge. This essentially lets you break into anyone's home without fear of being caught. As if by chance you are, then you'll just let them know that you thought a tiger was loose in their home and be believed without question, which we love. If you plan on embracing this playstyle, then I'd also suggest giving your sim the kleptomaniac trait, which will allow them to swipe objects provided that no one nearby catches them. Especially if you're performing break-ins, then the kleptomaniac trait will let you steal alongside your snooping, which can make break and entering much more fun. Next up is to enjoy an evening out at the Tomarang Night Markets, which are located in the Morinsong area of Tomarang. The stores here are open from 6pm to 2am and there's a large range of different foods on offer here to try, as well as an additional store located on the corner that sells a cool range of knickknacks. The lighting at night around this area makes it a great place to take some pictures at and overall it can be an awesome spot to visit on a night out with friends or even while on a date. The fifth idea is what we all knew would be here, being to build and manage a property empire. For this, you'll need some starting funds and to use the business section of your phone to purchase a residential rental property. And afterwards, you'll be looking to increase its star rating by decking it out with top-notch amenities and objects that improve its environment, and potentially even increasing its size. You'll set the rules, set the rental price, and then find tenants to move in before managing all of their many chaotic concerns. And while one rental property might be rather straightforward to manage, there is certainly a lot more chaos involved when managing multiple. If you decide to go down this path, then I'd recommend working towards completing the five-star property owner aspiration, which doing will reward your sim with the home manager maven trait. Sims with this trait will be more successful in solving maintenance and emergency events. They'll also build better relationships relationships with tenants and also see their properties boast better ratings. Also know that as there's quite a lot involved in setting up and running residential rentals, I'll have a more complete guide to it linked in the description. Now let's look at camping at the Beard Beach Cove. This cove is rather secretive and secluded, being located a fair swim away from the main islands within the Koh Sapa area of Tomarang. Here you can explore a cave which offers various text-based journeys and sometimes the discovery of a tassel. There's also sand to relax on and a beautiful body of water to swim in. Ideally to camp here, you'll also want to have access to a pack that provides you with sleeping bags or tents. 
such as Horse Ranch, Growing Together, Outdoor Retreat, Snowy Escape, or the two. But overall, this island provides the perfect setting for some remote island camping that can't be overlooked. Next up is to become a local Tomarang specialist. For this, you'll want to have your sim embrace all aspects of Tomarang culture, likely by taking on and completing the Fount of Tomarani knowledge aspiration. Locate this aspiration sends me because part of it involves using a squat toilet, and I just can't imagine anyone aspiring to take a dump in a particular way in order to give their life more meaning. Seriously, who came up with this? Anyway, completing this aspiration awards your sim with the Tomarang expert trait, which makes them better at cooking Tomarani cuisine, finding tassels, getting along with sims who have the child of the village trait, and exploring the Sulia Tiger Sanctuary. All in all, these sims will thrive in Tomarang, and having a local specialist can be a fun way to add character to the world. Moving on to a quick one, being to have your child sims embrace marbles. This is a new fun and rather social child activity that can be great for getting child sims to interact with others their age. Additionally, sims can get further involved by also aiming to complete the accompanying marble collection, with a jar specially for storing them. A quick side note is that playing for keeps where you try to win a marble by beating other sims at the game is sadly still broken. Creating a guest house or granny flat is next, with for rent, provided that you have the space in your backyard and the household funds to build it you'll be able to construct a granny flat in your backyard and then zone it to be a separate unit. Afterwards, you'll be able to rent this out for some additional funds. Know though that you don't have to do this with money in mind, as it could even be a means of providing extended family members or relatives with a place to stay without having to have them become part of your household. As long as you have some common areas, you'll still be able to see them around too. But keep in mind that sadly there will be a loading screen if you want to visit the granny flat and go in inside. The tenth gameplay idea we'll look at is to host a neighborhood potluck, which is a new event that centers on Sim showing off some delicious food that they've made. For this event, you'll need a host and at least three potluck contributors, up to a total of 15, and additionally you can have up to an extra 15 guests. Yes, this event has the potential to be huge. Really, this is just a great way to get your neighbors to work for you and provide you with food, as contributors will often bring over an eight serving size dish that you can then refrigerate and keep if needed. And really, the event just involves a whole lot of eating and complimenting food. So you know, this is my kind of event. As a small added bonus, earning gold on this event will see you gain a new grill. I won't lie, it's a bit dull and it's not really inspiring me to partake in the grilling life. Moving on now to embracing rental living. Living as a tenant with a landlord adds an interesting dynamic to your day-to-day -day gameplay, as you'll need to form a relationship with them and manage living under the rules that they've set. Will you try to deal with problems that arise in your rental yourself, or will you call the landlord over and demand that they fix everything? For this, you might want to consider the discerning dweller aspiration, which completing will award you with the neighborly trait. This will make your sim better at negotiating rent forgiveness and getting along with neighbors, it will see events that you host be more successful, and will also stop your property owner from repossessing your things. And let's be honest, we don't have time to have our landlord steal our things. Now to look at becoming a handy person, which is brought to life through the new part-time career. In this career, you can choose to work from home or alternatively go into work each day. And while you likely guessed it required the handiness skill, it's worth knowing that it also requires the gardening skill too. At level 2 of this this career, you'll unlock a unique tradesperson outfit that really complements your new fixer-upper life, and then upon reaching the top of the career, you'll get a handy person hat to complement your outfit, because you're not a legit handy person unless you've got the hat, you know? At the top of the career, you'll also gain the resourceful repairer trait, which lets you find more upgrade parts when repairing things. For the 13th idea, we're going to look at becoming a fashion icon with the tassel top. Yes, this top is a serve and an ace, and it's it's unlocked by completing the tassel collection. There's a total of 10 tassels that you can find in various ways, such as by purchasing them at the night market, digging them up in sand piles at the beaches in Tomarang, exploring the cave at the Beard Beach Cove, and visiting the Sulia Tiger Sanctuary. After you have all 10 of the different colored tassels, you'll then be able to combine them to unlock the tassel top in Creator Sim, and then live a life making everyone around you jealous of your awesome style. Next up is to cause chaos and potential 
potentially even death with mold, which is predominantly done through the new mold lot challenge. With this enabled, mold will begin growing around dirty plumbing, around puddles and trash that's been left on the ground. You can clean or deploy mold big on to get rid of mold or even try to set it on fire if you're a pyro and really just want to cause a whole lot of chaos and mess. But if you let it accumulate, then you'll have some adverse effects to deal with. While allergenic mold will just cause nearby sims to get a dazed moodlet, if a sim stays too close to toxic mold piles for an extended period of time without using a shower or bath to scrub the spores off, then this will actually lead to death. And it's this death that ties into the next gameplay idea, being to play as a mold ghost. For this, you'll need to seek out the ghost of a sim who has died from mold, befriend them, and then invite them to join your household. From here, you'll be able to make use of a few rather unique mold ghost powers, and know that using these will drain a bit of your sim's energy need. Firstly, these ghosts can spoil food to immediately make it go off. Additionally, you'll be able to click on the ground indoors and select to spread mold, creating an allergenic mold pile close by. On top of this, mold ghosts can create fungal overgrowth on grassy trees rain outside to instantly spawn a mushroom plant, and that's not all, as these ghosts can also blow fertilizing spores on plants to instantly increase their quality. So yes, there is definitely mushroom farm gameplay in this. Finally, know that these ghosts won't be able to eat mushrooms and will become angry when witnessing sims eat them. All in all though, they just have a rather wide variety of powers that just make them a lot of fun to play with. The 16th gameplay idea is a quick one, being to embrace Asian cuisine with the pressure cooker. This new appliance is a lot of fun to use and will allow your sim to easily whip up some awesome group dishes that have 12 servings. So it's particularly handy for feeding large families or large groups of sims when hosting events. As a side note, For Rent also adds an electric kettle, which allows you to make hot water, tea, hot coca, and coffee all from one appliance. That's right, no more using five different counter spaces just to have some hot beverage choices. Also, you can now make Rainbow Unicorn Galaxy Tea, and this just makes me happy. Next up is creating a self-contained community. What do I mean by this? Well, using the residential rental system, you can essentially have up to six different spaces for six different households to live in, all located on a single lot. And as long as you ensure that there's a lot of shared spaces on the residential rental lot, then no matter which household you play, you'll still be able to frequently run into sims from other households. This system could help you to bring to life lots of different community setups, whether it's a multi-generational home or extended family all living next to one another, or a small farming community using cottage living with farm animals placed on shared spaces. I mean, you could even make a cult with members taking up residence on various households on the same lot. There's so much that can be done. But I do have to point out that the one downside is that you will have to sit through a loading screen when visiting the other households on the residential rental lot. And now the final gameplay idea is to create a wise mentor sim. With the four rent expansion, pack, elder sims can gain the wise trait when aging up, or directly from creator sim if you're creating an elder sim. Sims with this trait will gain skill levels faster and additionally be awarded with 50% more satisfaction points from completing once. These sims can also offer wisdom or teach important lessons to other sims which can provide the target sim with a confident moodlet. And they can also share life experiences too. Sometimes though the sim who's listening won't want to hear it and they'll find the advice super boring. On top of this, wise sims will be great at mentoring other sims in skills that they've maxed, which can make them handy sims in setting up younger generations for success. And with that, we're at the end. That's 18 gameplay ideas for the 4 Rent expansion pack. If you have any cool gameplay ideas that you'd like to share, then please let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it. And I hope you have an amazing day. See you later.